I mean, we're, I mean, there we go, the camera adjusted. Hey everyone, it's Stanford's response on here. I, I, uh, messed up the first time, so I'm doing a retake. And, and the last time I did this celebration, I didn't do it as a premiere first, I just did it as a scheduled. I'll, uh, do it as a premiere, er, and it'll, and it'll premiere at, um, uh, five o'clock. So, yeah, and let me turn on this light. And today is Meet the Orchestra's 13th anniversary celebration. As most of you all know, it is March 7th. So, yes, it is Meet the Orchestra's 13th anniversary celebration. It's really cool. Um, so, you can probably tell what this is. This is something that I've really kept in my mind. Anyway, here's the front, back, side, I was red. Top, bottom. Um, my first signs. Baby Noah, Elmo's World, Wake Up with Elmo, um, Baby Bot, Baby Straight Places, Baby First Moves, Baby Da Vinci, Baby Beethoven Numbers Nursery, Newton McDonald, um, Wordsworth Monet, Neptune Language Nursery, Lullaby Time, Meet the Orchestra. So, here is the disc. And I do not have a parent's guide. And I never grew up with the... With the uh, parent's guides. And... Yeah! So there it is. Now we will move on to the CD. I forgot to show this in the first take. That's why I'm redoing this. Then we'll move on to the puppets. One of them is in really questionable condition. So, yeah. Hold on, this is one that I made uh, back in September, not too long ago, so, yeah. Here's the hippo. This isn't really the L&L &L one, but I don't really care because the, cause the L&L &L one is really just the private one but with just different eyes and a different nose. Then we have the pre-Disney cow from from the actual Baby Einstein company, which, which I, if I had the L&L &L cow, I would show that, but I only have pre-Disney, so whatever. And it's in a really questionable condition. Because the, especially at the bottom, you'll see, the bottom is really starting to fall off at the bottom. Um, so, yeah. But I'm still going to use it. At least until the ear falls off. Dust falls out of it. So, yeah. It's not like Baby V Go has really bad condition puppets. Now we have the Kids 2 cow. So, which if I uh, made the difference in the eyes, I could make it the one in the Baby McDonald bonus features because the ears, it, did, it doesn't always have to be this style. You could... You can make the ears into a different style. Cameron C has this and Michael Regan has this. Although, I know nobody wants it. No, but I know they wouldn't want it because it, it looks bad. It has the worst size. Then we have Rudy Reindeer. Black Nose Rudy, which I also showed in Baby Santa's 20th Anniversary Celebration. Lot, lot more people have this than, like, Chase Ace has it, Mario the Dragon has it, you know. At least the pre-Disney one. And then, again, 
I have so many paper puppets over there that I that I'm not going to find the perfect penguin. So here's the penguin. It's, it's maybe no version, but whatever. I have a penguin with a black beak, white eyes, right, and white eyes. But I'm not gonna mess around and find the most precise one. And I have Mimi, but I decided not to show her because I already, I mean, because I it would take too long to find. Anyways, here's the horse from Baby McDonald. I know it's lost a little stitching there, but whatever. And now that that's done, we have act some a puppet that I made when I was 13 back in 2018. I never showed it on my old channel, but whatever. It is the Meteoric Star version of the Baby Monster Koala. I can tell because the eyes are like this in lower style and it's a more sky blue and it's more bright than other than other versions. Much of the Ande is like a darker sky blue and Baby Noah is like the like a lighter sky blue. I think World Animal Adventure is a little mixture of most of Noah and Meteor Extra. Anyways, we have Baby Vivaldi from, this also appeared in Baby Monet. So if you ever want to, if you ever want to stay tuned for my Baby Monet review tomorrow, I'll do that. And then we have the Kids Stew Duck. It's just really the My First Science version, but it looks so similar to the Meteor Extra version that I didn't really that I didn't really pass a chance to show it because it looks similar. If I got like the earlier version of the Kids Stew Duck, that would be better. But because I could make the eyes eyes and a button and leave the nose blank but whatever now the last things I have to show are the toys and I have pretty much every percussion section so first up this exact toy appeared in world of rhythm but I'm showing it my meteor extra because I figured it needs it Hold on. There we go. So, there we go. Next we have the... Yeah, the tambourine. I know the exact one was blue, but I have the red one and it's the same shape, so whatever. And then I have I use the, I use this and this in my Meteorks in my fan made video. Um you can go check it out on Drive. I already posted a video of it. But here are the symbols. And da 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 I really wish I had a baby Bach puppet by Legends and Lore and the baby Beethoven Japanese puppet because literally Beethoven is my favorite character of all time. And then we have the tambourine which I know the top is destroyed but whatever. That was me as a little kid so. So yeah, that's Meet the Orchestra's 15th anniversary celebration. And yeah, I'll still use my cow for products because it's not like Baby B Go and Crazy Croc already keep their puppets even though they're torn. Like, Baby B Go still um, gets Baby Monet, Red Nose Rudy, the Hippo, Baby Noah, all 
him, he, all of his pu all of his puppets, Sophie Bear, the Fox, yeah. Oh yeah, and speaking of Sophie Bear and the Fox, before we can move on to the Doolittle, before we can go, before we can move on to the Doolittle for their 20th anniversaries, I'm gonna do Baby Monet, Baby Newton, Baby McDonald, Baby Neptune, World Music, and my first Little Einstein's review, Arb um, no, not Arby, Team Up for Adventure, which I have on DVD, and I'm getting World Music on March 31st when it was released, so, yeah. Oh, and after March, on, and uh, after March 31st, the World Music Review, I'll do three videos on March 31st. I'll do World Music Review, uh, ch uh, Season 1 Finale, then Season 2 Beginning. So, yeah. Really cool. The season 1 Finale will, will be pretty much like the Cheers to One musical celebration, which was the Alexander's Treasures, which VTG uploaded. And I'll do that for my computer, which is really cool. Anyway, be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and see you all later. Hasta la vista, baby. Stay tuned for more video anniversaries coming soon.